Oh, did you hear what Ensign Helen Noel was saying at lunch? She was sure that someone watches her in her quarters. You know, using the security monitoring system. Oh, Finn, I did hear that, but I'm sure that doesn't happen. Really? Everyone knows that Chief Sulu's security section goes overboard and watches us too much, even in our private quarters when we're off duty. Well, I used to think that, but I don't anymore. Don't listen to those people that try to convince you that security is overstepping and watching us too much. I know, I used to be one of them, but take it from me, I'm convinced that they don't over-monitor the crew. Uh, really? But there's evidence that they do. Oh no, I completely understand why everyone still thinks that. I mean, I was the worst offender, telling everyone who'd listen about security's transgressions. But later I realized just how wrong I was. The security team is not watching us over much. Okay, I guess if you're convinced, that means something. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, of course, overheard your remarks. Yes, Commander yes, Spock? The argument you are employing, Mr. Yeager, is not logical. In fact, you committed the statement of conversion fallacy, a common persuasion strategy. His argument seems to make sense. That may be so, Mr. Austin. But his argument was logically invalid. The statement of conversion fallacy occurs when a changed mind is used as proof for contention. It is not a fallacy to give testimony of a changed mind. It is a fallacy, however, to say, I changed my mind, therefore I am now right, and those who believe what I used to believe are wrong. This fallacy is similar to the appeal to authority fallacy as the converted person often holds themselves up as an authority on an idea because they used to believe the idea themselves. It is a fallacy because no other evidence is presented other than the statement of conversion from one side of the debate. Mr. Yeager, you exhibited this fallacy when you stated how you once had but no longer did believe that the crew is being over-monitored by security. However, you merely stated that in lieu of evidence and made no other argument against Mr. Austin's position. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Yeah, yeah. I never realized. I should rethink my point of view. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid, and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as the statement of conversion fallacy. It's only logical. Return to your duties. Oh, my.